In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Scholar and the library at Boise State to search for credible articles. Now, I know I said search for only peer-reviewed articles. It's really easy to search for peer-reviewed articles through the library database. Through Google Scholar, it's not quite as easy. So perhaps I should have really made it so search for credible articles. But peer-reviewed is becoming more and more of a broad umbrella about articles that are published that have been reviewed and are published in reputable journals and that sort of thing. So let me show you Google Scholar and I just put a search term in here integrating technology language arts K through 12. And I having searched since 2000 you can narrow your search and I would suggest doing this because you really only want to search for recent articles when you're talking about technology. I'm also signed into the library at Boise State and I also adjusted my Google Scholar preferences to include Boise State Library to have access links for Boise State Library. So you should do that if you haven't done that already. So I'm looking here and here's an article and you can actually get the PDF directly from the link. That's much faster than finding it at Boise State. So whenever you can find it direct, a direct PDF, just click that or click Find It at Boise State. This means that Boise State has this article. Of course, you need to be signed in using your Bronco Web credentials. Well, here's an interesting article, and it's in Educational Technology Research and Development 2007, fairly recent. I know that this is a reputable journal. And more importantly, Google Scholar shows you how many times that article has been cited in other publications. So if we click this, we can see, oh wow, it's been cited in a lot of very reputable publications. This must be a good article. So that's really one way you can find out is how many times has it been cited and also is it in a reputable research journal. So you'll just have to go through and see what looks interesting to you. Click the PDF link, scan the article. If it's not available directly from Google Scholar, find it at Boise State. Now let's go to the Boise State Library. I'm signed in here and I just did a search for integrating technology language arts. But I also selected peer-reviewed articles. And it was a link down here that I selected first. Let me click the back button and see if I can get there. All right. So right now I'm showing article. I want to look at that format. And here we go, content. But I just want to pull up peer-reviewed. I still have a lot of peer-reviewed articles, 2,900. So I might want to put more specific search terms in here to filter my search a little bit better. But as you can see, if you're interested in reading this article, you can click view now and you have all sorts of links, full text links to view the article through the Boise State Library. So again, you can locate peer-reviewed articles through the Boise State Library by filtering for peer-reviewed. Now you can see I've got, I have peer-reviewed selected and you can use Google Scholar and sort of look at the name of the, the, art, the journal and also how many times has it been cited? If it's been cited a lot of times, that must be a pretty darn good article. And in fact, what's really cool about this too is once you click the cited by, you might find some other articles here that are really good too that you might be able to use. I hope this quick video has helped answer your questions more about peer reviewed. What I meant to say really is credible articles. You don't want to just cite somebody's blog post that you don't even know who they are what they're writing about. They have no sort of credentials behind them. You want to cite scholarly articles that are authentic, relevant, and more importantly, credible to your research. Thanks for viewing.